My name's Annika. I make music under Alice Ivy. I grew up in a little town called Geelong. I was really involved in music at high school. I kind of see myself in a career in music, but just playing guitar, like just playing guitar in people's bands, like not having any involvement in production. I didn't even know what producing was or anything like that. I got to be in the career that I'm in by accidentally stumbling upon music production. My university course that I did, which was a Bachelor of Arts Music Industry, I did another course called Audio Technology where our lecturer, the first thing he showed us was a record by Jay Diller called Donuts and it's all sample based music, you know, and I was just like, this is so cool. I want to make this kind of music. And then I was doing all this industry work, volunteer work. So it kind of happened like that. Like I sort of had, you know, like these opportunities thrown at me because I was putting my hand up for anything and just, you know, wanting to help out people. And, you know, eventually I put my music up on Triple J on Earth and signed a couple of records labels and yeah I guess that's sort of like how I fell into things. My first work experience when I was in year 10 and you have to do it for school was at um, Triple R radio station and you got to like put a radio show together and you see bands come in and stuff and I just thought it was so cool. Um, so then when I was having to go to uni and looking at courses I chose to do the music industry course which is where I met Annika for the first time and we became friends. I'd say the beginning was more writer services and throughout the period of time, um, Matt and Jamie have really spent a lot of time with me, um, sort of developing the role as an a and &R. Because we know each other so well, it's honest. You know, we can just be real, like immediately yeah. and tell each other like how we're honestly feeling. And that's what I like, I really love so much. It's like, we've skipped all that, you know, it's cool. I feel like today there's just so much more of a blur between celebrities and everyday people because we have influences now as well so like i feel like you know compared to where we were like years ago like growing up we were discussing how idolizing artists such as like britney spears and like christina aguilera and shakira and like beyonce and stuff and we were just like celebrity but now it's like you go online and like you know people view people with like lots of instagram followers as a celebrity but like you know they're just famous on instagram you know i don't know that's sort of just like one point that i've i've found really mind-blowing nowadays there's also like an extra pressure of actually being present on social media don't have social media people are like why aren't you on instagram that's so weird you know like it's just like this expectation, it's very strange. Now, you know, like there's the added pressure of having to respond to things instantly. If I don't respond straight away, it might be offensive to that person. You know, it's exhausting. Essentially, we're posting our best on Instagram. It's like everything you see on Instagram is, you know, perfect. We're all using filters all the time. Life is so filtered. It's almost like you're looking through rose colored glasses whenever you're on social media. And I feel like it's just, you know, if, if, we're, if we're living in this world, then, you know, young people are always striving to be and looking to these platforms and looking at these people and being like, that's what success is, you know, and that's what I need. And then the feeling of if you can't get that, you know, like you feel ashamed and, you know, it's just, it's not good. To, you, you just don't feel good about it. And so I feel like it's really important to teach young people to be really grateful for what you have. Yeah, and I just add to that, like, the more we talk about these things and how they really make us feel, the more you just destigmatize those feelings and conversations and young people can actually be okay to say, actually, I don't feel okay being on social media all the time. It's actually making me feel really bad about myself or work out ways to make them safer spaces. If you are getting bullied online, you know, like, you shouldn't feel ashamed to talk to people about it you shouldn't feel ashamed to pick up the phone and like talk to your mom or you know your teacher because like that's not if you hide it and you bottle it up it's just not a good it's not going to end well so yeah i really try to just be really careful with what i'm consuming because it really does affect you be productive you know of your energy like just like just surround yourself by positive people authentic beauty is like where, the, where I can where I can sense that the person is totally is totally themselves so like you know just like a natural photograph with nothing on it like no makeup no filters nothing and it's really beauty like beautiful like it's just like a raw image success again to like what I see as success is 
if you're paving your own way and you're just you know you're doing your own thing your own thing and it's unique and you're successful in this own world that you've created real just being yourself no matter what that means in the context of other people or society and having the courage to do that you know, it can be scary sometimes not fitting in with people and being a little bit different and I kindness I really think being kind is so beautiful and you know the world would be such an amazing place if we were all truly kind love and kindness and if that's your guiding forces in your life then you'll be fine how I feel today no I'm not trying to hear what you're trying to say gotta get it right now no time to play